Hey guys, Caden Second here, back with another video, and in today's video, it's going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing an Xbox and Nintendo Switch review. But not just any Xbox. The Xbox One X. So yeah, um, I've done this uh, before, I believe, um, eight months ago? Eight or nine months ago on my main channel, Caden Foes, but... I didn't really like it too much, so I'm going to be redoing it on Cadence Second. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy. So let's start off with the Xbox One X Fos, since I play it the most often. So here's what the Xbox One X looks like, or at least my One X. Um, here's my first controller. This controller I use most of the time. I really like how you can see all the... All the stuff inside it. Like all the stuff that makes the controller work. I also like um, these things that my dad bought me. They're really nice. They make um, the grip easier and more controllable. Uh, the grips on these, I don't really like them as much. Because these grips are really high. While these ones aren't too high, as you can tell. Um... But other than that, this is the main Xbox controller. I used to have another one just like this, but um, Ethan and I accidentally broke the last one uh, a while back. This was actually back in the day when um, Ethan used to actually post videos on his YouTube channel. Like, um, I believe a year or two ago, and we were making um, an Xbox Raging video. And I believe that I was pretending to, like, Destroy the Xbox controller or something like that. And I'm not 100% sure, but either I was like banging it on my bed and then it like fell off, or like I accidentally like made it fall from like here, like down to the floor, and then yeah, that's how it broke. But got a new one, and how nice it is. So I had my 1X for, I believe, a couple years, I think. Or at least when the One X, like, just came out. So, yeah, probably around a couple years ago. But, um, I really like it. It's, um, the graphics are very good. It loads pretty fast. Sometimes there's some problems with the internet and the loading. But definitely faster and better than the original Xbox One. Because I used to have the original Xbox One. The graphics were good, but they weren't as good. Same with the internet and the, the speed. It wasn't as good. It wasn't as top of the notch. But the One X, everything is a lot faster. But people believe that the PS4 Pro is better. Or at least like with the, the internet and the loading and um, the digital part of the PS4 and the graphics. But... Personally, I think the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro are just as good in some ways. But the Xbox One X is definitely a lot easier with uh, doing the, um, you know, inviting your friend to a party or a game. Instead of like having to send a friend request like a million times, you just go, you just click the, the Xbox logo button. And then you just find the, your friend and just invite them. So yeah, the Xbox One X is definitely a lot easier to use than the PlayStation, of course. And a little bit easier to use compared to the original Xbox One. But unfortunately, the avatar thing on the One X isn't as good as it was back in the 360. Like, the 360 was kind of like the Wii. Like, the Wii was, like, really popular with the Miis and the Wii Sports and the Mii Channel and stuff like that. Well, with the Switch, it's not as popular and it doesn't have as many features. Same with the Xbox One X. But overall, it's pretty good. Now, let's go on to the Nintendo Switch. So, we could see here that I have my Nintendo Switch. It is charging. Here's my Joy-Cons. Mm -hmm. I have just... You know, the original Joy-Cons. Here's my uh, Pro Controller right there. Um, let me just take it out of here. Or Oh, I could just do it like this. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, it looks very similar to the Xbox Controller. But instead of the X being here, it's there, of course. Same with the Y. Because the Xbox 
Instead of the Y being there, it's the X. And instead of the X being there, it's the Y. Um, has these two buttons on the Xbox controller, but it doesn't have the two buttons on the top. Also, instead of this, where it's like nothing, it's actually, um, you know, something you could like press and hold. But other than that, it looks very similar and everything on the controller is just the same. The graphics on Switch are very good, especially with the Nintendo games. Um, depending on the game you play, it's not as good while you're playing on the TV instead of, you know, just the actual console or the actual portable player, so I meant to say. Something like that. You know what I mean. But I don't like how the, the, the cards for the Switch games are very small. In fact, smaller than the... 3DS and the 2DS and the DS um, cards for the games. That would be nice if it feels the Switch is more like an Xbox. It works like an Xbox. It runs like an Xbox. You could play more of the Xbox games on it. And they have actual discs or even better, digital. Because digital is a really popular thing now. But um, yeah, overall the Switch is pretty good. I believe there's a new Nintendo Switch that's out. But I heard they're going to be making a Switch Pro later in the year or early next year. Same with the Xbox with the Series X or the Xbox 2 or whatever it's going to be. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Series X and possibly the Series S. Same with PlayStation. They're going to be making the PS5. But all of them are really good though. But in different ways. Like I said with the Xbox and the PlayStation. But I'm not really a big PlayStation fan. So... That's all with the Xbox and the Switch, so now let's talk about which one is better. Even though I do like some of the Mario games and the Switch itself, the Switch is really fun to play and use. I would prefer Xbox because the games on Xbox are funner and they're more popular and the Xbox, everything on it runs better. Better internet, um, it... Well, the Switch, it takes pretty fast to download stuff. And you don't have to download stuff as much as the Xbox. That's a pro for the Switch. Also, it's portable. Xbox, it's not portable. That's another pro for the Switch. With the Xbox, you could use more of the wireless headsets. Unlike in the Switch where it's, you know, it's a little more difficult to use the wireless headsets. And the uh, earbuds for the Switch work better than what than they do on the Xbox. The Xbox has more storage than the Switch, so that's also why I like the Xbox better. And there's more Xbox games, so if you don't like the really popular ones, if you like to play the body Xbox games, then you could get those. But while with the Switch, I mean, no offense to Nintendo, but half of your games are body. There's not that much of an option for some of those people who just like tons of options. So those are just some of the more common pros and cons about the Xbox and the Switch. Also, the Joy-Cons, I think they should just have the Pro Controller because it works better unless you have like that thing that you like strap the Joy-Cons in, that's sort of like an Xbox controller. I like that too, but I would personally use the Pro Controller more instead of the other thing. But anyways guys, um, that's enough for today. I don't want to make this video too long. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and turn on notifications. See you in the next video.